You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be doing a gameplay of the new Jaden Ivy card in NBA 2K22, my team, who I did love watching at Purdue. Now, before I dive into it, guys, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road. Towards 100,000 subscribers, 6 4, 90, 43 ball, good standing deck, 98 driving deck, 97 ball, 88 block, 98 steel, 97 perimeter, 94 interior, 99 speed, acceleration, speed with ball, 98 vertical, lateral quickness. I mean, guys, 98 across the board, tendency wise, 45 Hall of Fame badges. The dude does not lack anything at all. I mean, there's not a badge I could even say he could use. Now, we'll say I'm actually kind of surprised as, as I'm going into this gameplay on how much Jaden Ivey is. I mean, he is pretty expensive. So just kind of keep that in the back of your minds. Is he worth 65,000 MT throughout the course of this gameplay? Because right now, guys, I mean, 60,000 MT is, is the price he's going for. Now, one of the main reasons I want to do Jaden Ivey gameplay is because I played against Jaden Ivey, man. And this card movement wise is ridiculous. I don't care what anybody says. His movement on this game is absolutely ridiculous and i'm not saying that in in a way is to say you know okay you gotta get him i'm just saying movement wise he's a fun fun card to use release wise it's the same thing i mean a very 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 good release in my team i think it is the derrick rose base and so the d rose base is honestly good on both current and next gen it's not like oh well it's just good on one gen no it is very very good and solid on both gens now dunk package wise what was that, Jaden Ivy? I need a dunk, baby. Dunk package wise. Bro, what? Can he not dunk the ball? Hold on, let me try something. Oh, hold on. Okay, so he dunks that one. I'm trying to go up with the right stick and it's just simply not working. Okay, there we go. We're finally getting some dunks with Jaden Ivey. I don't know why, but the first time I tried getting a couple of dunks, he just laid the ball up. So I don't know for sure if that's a problem or if that's something we're going to have to look at, but hopefully he dunks the ball with, you know, velocity and effectiveness because otherwise it's going to be disappointing for a card that moves this well. Looking at Mr. Jaden Ivey here on current gen. I, I wish he had a better size up. I do not like the size up he's got. I mean, movement wise, he can move in the Derrick Rose base is so cheesy. It's probably even cheesier on current gen than it is on next gen, but yeah. Jade and Ivy on both gens is, is, is ridiculous. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not saying you guys got to get him, but I do like this size up escape. I will say that a lot of people do not like, I think it's the Donovan Mitchell size up escape. I'm a big fan of it. It's what Richard Jefferson has, I think. And I personally love moving with Richard Jefferson. A lot of it is because of that. So I think Jay, I, I have pretty high hopes for Jade and Ivy. Now we'll see if he can convert it into what I think he can. Now fade wise, I didn't look on next gen. Hopefully, we'll test it out. He's got the normal fade. We need a win today in my team unlimited. Let's see if Jay Ivey can lead us to the promised land. My opponent's got Wilt Chamberlain. And yes, it's the Wilt Chamberlain. That's an absolute cheese ball. But I will be very surprised if he had anything to stop this Jaden Ivey card. And I'm not saying that in, in an arrogant way. I'm just saying Jaden Ivey is not to be messed with. Oh, yeah. Five out with Ivey is, is alive and well. Hold up. Hold up, ah, hold up, ah. oh my gosh, hold up, hold up, where are you going? You would need a mat as Jaden Ivey goes in for the one-handed gym. I don't five out often. It's over and back. Wow, that's not what I guess I never went in the front court. I don't know what happened there. Again, Jaden Ivey offensively is, is really extremely talented. Ew. Yeah, everybody tries doing way too much with Chet Holgram, and I'm not saying he bad. I'm just saying I don't know if he capable of all this. Mobley from Mitty, come on. I need to see what leaner he's working with. That's what I need to see on a, on a possession coming up here. Hold up. Normal leaner. 
for Jaden Ivey. Cashes in on another bucket, another three ball for the man with the plan. Mobley is not a guy I think you want to mess with. I mean, yes, Chet might make a few plays, but I mean, to attack Mobley on a consistent basis seems kind of crazy. Seems like a crazy idea to me. I don't know about you, but it seems like a crazy idea to me. What are, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? You might be looking at one of the most fun cards to use in the entire game. As far as fun TTO cards in my team, I know he's 60K, but I think Jaden Ivey's gonna be up there, man. I really do, and I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just speaking to myself right now, but I seriously think this card is, is gonna be next level. I mean, look at him. He moving. He grooving, just basically doing what he wants out here. Oh, yeah, Keegan. Oh, yeah, Keegan. Oh, yeah, Keegan. Show me something. I don't like the sleeve on you, but I'll take it. Good shot there from Keegan Murray. In the rocket. Watch out. I got a green that one, but you guys are just seeing what that release does. I mean, that's an open off of a quick stop. This card's movement is good. Let me look at that. How are you supposed to onball that? He's trying to onball that. Whatever. That is so bad. I mean, I'll take it. Nice shot, but that is bad. He's cheesing. Oh, yeah. Check. He's so tough. I mean, he really is. He's trying to sit on one way. But if I keep running, I have a wide open fade every single possession. Oh, yeah, Ivy. He's 6'4", but getting paint stops on RJ. Are y'all seeing that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's my fault. I wanted to set my feet. Doesn't matter for Jade and Ivy knocking that one in. Oh my gosh, Taco's there. Oh my gosh. Let me guard him. Let me guard him. Look at Keegan. Look at, oh yeah, Ivy with a board. Hey, hey. Woo. Oh my gosh, he lucky he was there with, oh my gosh, that's so bad. I cooked him too. He was just trailing the play and got there. I'm going to find my corner. Told you. I told you I'm going to find my corner and I'm going to drift to it. You better get a better contest next time. Look at this. I'm not even meaning to take that drifter, and it doesn't matter right now for Ivy. Slow fades gotta be green, and it was right there. Look at him. Chase down block. I mean, come on. What else do you want to see at this point? At this point, what do you want to see out of Jaden Ivy? The dude can move, he can groove, he's playing decent defense, getting me stops. Yup, look at this. Look at this. Where are you going? Where are you going? Find Jaden Ivy. Chill. Quick. Finish him. Ah! Look at Jaden Ivey, man. If this is the Jaden Ivey we get, I promise you the Kings are going to regret taking Keegan Murray. And I love Keegan Murray. Is Jaden Ivey worth his price? And that is such a tough question for me to answer. Because it's one of those things, do I think Jaden Ivey straight up is better than Johnny Davis? Yes. The problem is Jaden Ivey is 60K and Johnny Davis is 10K. So instead of comparing those two, we got to compare Jaden Ivey to some point guards around that same price. I cannot take Hero 8 over Jaden Ivey. Is Jaden Ivey better than Daniels? No. Is he better than uh, better than Luka? No. Is he better than MJ? No. But, I mean, is he better than Hero 8? I think so. And I think that's a very solid and good comparison to leave you guys with. Jaden Ivey, probably overpriced in my team, but a very, very good, good player. It's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.